Raiders Crown Final for two-year-old Colt and Gelding Trotters. Here they come. Off and trotting in to Searsense Cape Town Hall out of there from the outside, but Ebony Strike shows some speed, so does RC Royalty as expected there. Ira Kay in the favorite Chocolatier alert towards the inside into the early fray around the first turn. Dan Daly, RC Royalty on the outside, brushing to the top easily here. Ebony Strike in the second spot and Sears with Cape Town Hall looking to slide in third there. Chocolatier is fourth and... Uh, as uh, Cape Town Hall settles in in front of Chocolatier, he edges to the outside. Past the quarter, Make You Mine got away in the fifth position, stride for stride with Global Glide. Uh, then comes Ira K to the outside, followed by E.L. Miko, and double player at the back is Mr. Pine Chip, 28 and 3. RC Royalty not for long. Here comes Chocolatier. D.R. Ackerman has him in gear and on the point now. Chocolatier leads the way, the world champion, trotting Colt by two now. RC Royalty in the second spot. Ebony Strike is Third under a snug hold, Cape Town Hall fourth. Parked out is Make You Mine, stalled there on the outside. Then E.L. Miko towards the rail, followed by Global Glide, Ira K. Double player, and Mr. Pine Chip 57 and 3. 29 seconds there in that second quarter. It's Chocolatier by a length and a quarter on the far turn. RC Royalty staying with him and stalking from the second spot. Uh, gap at two lengths. Ebony strike on the inside, stride for stride there with the Cape Town Hall. Cape Town Hall inching a bit closer there. Tracked on the outside by Make You Mine and RC Royalty popped the pocket with Dan Daly and pounces on Chocolatier as they turn for home. Three quarters, 127 and 3. 30 second rating there by D.R. Ackerman with Chocolatier on the inside. Going to work on the outside. RC Royalty is trying to press him and uh, here comes Cape Town Hall trying to rally on the outside but it's Chocolatier by two. Chocolatier striding away. Chocolatier, a sweet crown victory for the Ackermans. It's Chocolatier as Mr. Pine Chip rallies for second. And then it was Cape Town Hall and Make You Mine, 156 and 1. He set a world record of 154 and 4 in a division of the International Stallion Stake at the Red Mile. In a sensational performance back on October 6th in Lexington, Chocolatier is a Son of Credit winner. Out of Maple Frosting by Valley Victory. Owned by the Doug Adder, the Breeders' Crown winner tonight. And almost instantaneously, instantaneously becomes next year's early favorite for the Hamiltonian. Doug and D.R. Ackerman, the first Breeders' Crown right here. Doug, tell us a little bit about the drive here. Uh, tell us how it worked out here. Uh, the first turn, were you in a little bit tight? Uh, I see uh, when you're sitting fourth there. Well, I had a couple of decisions to make there either. You know, leave one of the horses out there and take my chances to follow up or quick let him in and make a move there. And as soon as I sensed that the rest of the field was on the move, I had to quick take a hold to let him in so I could get to the clear. It's anyway. And then uh, past the half, you met with some pressure at the top of the stretch, but you quickly dismissed that. Yeah, he just kind of goes as he gets attacked there, and he, he kind of kept forward there as, as soon as he kept hearing him there, and I kind of tapped it out there. I got a little excited over there through the lane there, but he, he was more in hand than it looked like for me anyways. Manner, speed, power, natural ability. This guy got everything? So far, so good. What's your, what's your feelings right now? First Breeders' Crown Winner's Circle. Oh, it's awesome. This is the best, man. Why wouldn't anybody ever want to be in harness racing? Uh, and the man on my left, I'm going to ask, too. You paid your dues, Mr. Ackerman. Tell us what it feels like to be in the Winner's Circle with the Breeders' Crown. Well, $250,000 richer. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, tell us a little bit about Chocolatier. Are you, gonna, are, you gonna, are you the groom? You're the caretaker for this? I'm the caretaker. Okay, now you're going to hire a groom in 2006? I doubt it. It's going to be you again. Huh? Yep. Is there a chance we're going to be right here the first Saturday in August next year? I hope so. Is that the goal right now? Now that you got your first crown, is the Hamiltonian now the focus? That's right. Tell us about Chocolatier. What, what's next? Where does he go when he winters? And do you shut him down entirely? Oh, we're going to shut him down, send him to Peninsula Farm in Lexington for till in February sometime. What about when the phone rings and people want to buy him? Well, I'll answer it. Okay. <laughs> Doug Ackerman, right now, you waited a long time. What's exactly in your mind as you just won your first ever Breeders' Crown? Oh, I'm happy for my son. And he drove pretty well, too, didn't he? Uh, yeah. Harness racing's done a lot for me, but if John Campbell's in the back nine, I'm in a clubhouse. <laughs> and so whatever my son gets, that's good. Okay, Ackerman's congratulations. Chocolatier has done it. He's won the freshman Breeders' Crown final.